finding hard. What did you used to do? <coughs> used to be the escape route from the school to across this before it was just the train trip. So, uh, over there, that used to be the Dairy Queen. Explained that the, the Dairy Queen used to call all the school on so that seized that operation. That, that you claim. used to be a train that used to come right through Whitesburg right here and follow the trail that goes out this way. covered bridge we was on is about a mile back that way this kind of comes across the road finishes through town here's another railroad bridge back in the day there's a little waterfall at the river park i guess is what you'd call that place okay. somebody got tired right in the middle of the river it is rather filthy That's what I said. Somebody got rather tired right in the middle of the river. That is a lot of trash. It's pretty other than the trash. But our destination lies that way. I'm not sure what all those mean. Like the the train on the other one that was like a mile back that way was, you know, obviously the railroad track that used to run right through here and continue this way, but flowers and acorns and maybe there's a point, like she said, maybe it's just for the giggles. There could be people Don't in the tunnel fornicating. It's fine. We're almost there. Let's find out. Well, there's the destination. Smells weird. Tunnel, heel tunnel. Look at the coal seam along the bottom that they've cut out to make this. Along with all the rock that they've cut out to make all this. It's just amazing. Well, I'm quite too excited. Well, it's kind of like, it's creepy. Here we go. It's like a weird breeze coming out of it. It smells funny. It smells like an old dirt basement. It's what it reminds me of. You need a light. I'm scared. You can't even see your light. But I'm scared. Shut up, not this one. That's where we're going. And that's where we came from. The little ones are doing to probably show up anything, I, I think. Here. Come I think she's a little scared.
back into the other side. Huh? Some big rock. Well, <laughs> it's an inspirational message up there for anybody. I dig stuff like this. Another day it was raining pretty hard and it was a little little different then but today 70 degrees and the first day of the new year. So I think getting out with the wife and looking at something downtown it's nice where i've lived all my life and had no idea this is here yeah i sent a video on tiktok maybe two weeks ago about this coming open so kids <sighs> absolutely drove me crazy trying to find this yeah but the other day i found it documented my trip and today i figured i'd come back and Show her what I'd found. See what she thought about it. She noted it was a little scary, but it's definitely worth the trip to me. And so, see what else we get into today. Stop. Hold up. Did you check for traffic? Stop dropping out. No. Stop. Okay. Stop. Collaborate and listen.
sure if that bridge is actually part of the old railroad but I'm sure that this used to be and back to where we were first at if you see the angel right over there just right to the right hand side of it if you follow this path it'll lead you right to the covered bridge where we was earlier so I'm going to suggest that that's probably the old railroad trail going right there Used to run right through the middle of downtown Whitesburg, downtown section of the Tanglewood Trail. Looks like all of it's mapped out. That's some pretty good detail too. Pretty neat. And it is a glorious day here in Eastern Kentucky. 75 degrees. Yeah. We'll pay for this. We will pay for this. Got the wife going right there to come and pick me up over here. It is 75 degrees. Yeah. That's it. But like I was saying, I don't think that bridge is part of the railroad that used to run through town. We're right on the other side of the bridge. The railroad continues going in this direction. And what I'm going to show you right here is it used to run right directly through downtown and right to the covered bridge where we started this day. It is very neat. Very neat. What I wouldn't do to have me one of them. But, I mean, I'd gladly take one of these too. I sure would. M6083 main battle tank. You can pause that there if you'd like to do a little reading about that. But it is a V12 air cooled motor max speed 30 miles an hour 280 miles on a tank of the diesel 64,000 pounds payload and 105,000 pounds just by itself heavy heavy girl well to wrap up this video i've made plans to come out to the bridge not the first covered bridge, but the second bridge in downtown Whitesburg. And show y'all what it looks like after dark. And not sure if you can see, but there has been a monsoon just right through the town here in eastern Kentucky. We are under the tornado watches, or the warnings, or watches. Anyways, I'm watching for the tornado because Eastern Kentucky is on high alert after what's went on in Western Kentucky in the last little while. Very scary situation. But anyways, I will show you the bridge, the second bridge, not the covered bridge, as I stated before, lit up at night to the best of my ability. It had to rain. But there is the bridge, the railroad that I was speaking about comes from that way out on that end of town and rolls right through the downtown area following this right here and right out to that covered bridge as I stated earlier. So right there is the bridge between behind downtown Whitesburg. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Yep, oh, it's raining. Hopefully no tornadoes off in the distance in any yard direction.
Okay, so we stopped and decided to uh, get some Chinese here. And within about five minutes, conditions have certainly got interesting. And the video I just made coming through town, there was water in the road pretty deep. And that's within 10 minutes of this rain. It kind of sounds like it may be slacking off just a little. I'm going to hope so. But conditions are certainly getting a little worse. Chinese. Mexican food for the wife into the house. That's the goal. Y'all stick.